is the Freeman Olson situation and and take this from an unbiased look because obviously for you that's going to be the biggest deal but like was that the biggest move that happened in this free agency period uh, yeah I mean when you look at the when you combine the two moves together uh Olsen being traded and Freddie signing with LA it's I think that's as big as it gets like you lose you, you not lose but you give up four massive prospects to lock in a first baseman and you sign an extension with that first baseman like you've you locked up the core of your infield, obviously besides Dansby, um, mm-hmm. you got Aussie, you've got uh, you got Riley for a long time still. You've got you you got Acuna for a long time still. They went and got Rosario. I'm, well, now I'm getting into just brave stuff now, but I, I'm just saying that with that deal, with getting Olsen locked up as well, they've secured themselves till at least 2026. Okay, so what's what's the Braves outfield? Acuna, well, when's Acuna back? He's going to start DHing and then come back and. Acuna looks amazing. He's taking BP like he's he's going bananas right now. So I can't imagine he's going to be very long into the season before he gets to take his rightful spot on the. Yeah, phone. I saw there was something on Twitter that said like they're expecting him to DH. The date April twenty first is in my head. I have no idea why, but like. He'll start DHing for about a month, and then like mid May, he'll okay. start playing so the field. So right now, the projected starting lineup is Albies, Olson, Riley, Azuna, Duval, Rosario, Swanson, Alex Dickerson at DH, and Travis Darno catching. I think they're going to add another starting pitcher. I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know where they're going to get them from because, you know. I think they need to, like, I mean, the point that I made on our last episode was obviously Danny Duffy's gone now. And you were right that he's hurt, that he's not supposed to be available until mid season. But like, I want to see them sign a veteran like guy like that. Mm. Like, they need, I mean, because they have the talent. You have Freed. I don't know when Soroka's coming back. You have Ion Anderson. Like, you have young guys, but like, I don't know. They've always seemed to have like a veteran presence in that rotation. And right now, I don't think Charlie. They do. you got, they got Charlie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I forgot about Charlie. How can I forget about yeah. Charlie? So depending on Soroka, um, which they're going to take that as slow as it needs to, to be, but I can't, I, I'm so excited. Somebody asked me on Twitter the other day what I'm, what I'm most looking forward to this season. And it's honestly to see Mike Soroka pitch again. Yeah. I just hope he can, that he stays healthy. Me too. 